Hi, my name is Rene Schimmer. I'm product manager for HCL Connections. Today I want to spend a couple of minutes to talk about the latest release of HCL Connections, which we are releasing today. It's called HCL Connection 6.5 CR1. So Connections, as you know, is a collaboration tool that helps you to work regardless of where you are. So if you're working from home, like many of us do these days, or if you're still in the office, you can use Connections to bring your team closer together. CR1 adds or brings back, I should say, a mail integration in the Connections top navigation. So you can have email at the tip of your finger, no matter where you are within HCL Connections. We also added part three of the ongoing enhancements to the capability to transfer the ownership of a file from yourself to another user. Uh, we made some enhancements on the community catalog page where previously when typing in special characters like you would have in the Czech language, um, communities wouldn't show up. So we fixed this as well as updating HCL Docs, the engagement center, the desktop plugins, with HCL branding. Under the cover, we also made changes to Elasticsearch, Node.js, and Kubernetes, which an end user, of course, will never see. But currency here is important to always have the latest versions of those underlying components. What the end user will note, however, is that with CR1, we close the gap for end user facing languages in the UI. With 6.5, we came out the door uh, not translating into all the tier one, two, and three languages. Now with CR1, we have. With that, let's take a look at Connections Mail. Connections Mail allows you to access your email inbox or your calendar anywhere from within Connections by adding two icons to the Connections navigation bar in the upper right hand corner. Uh, if you can make it out in the screenshot, you see in the upper right-hand corner a bunch of icons. Um, there's one with a red dot right next to a square. That's an email envelope and a calendar grid. As you click on the mail envelope, a uh, window will open with your emails in your inbox. So you can take a quick glance at what emails have come in. You can uh, read the first couple of sentences in the preview, but you can also reply reply all, forward, or delete that message. In addition to looking at emails that are in your inbox, you can also write a new email and send it off right here from within Connections, never leaving the work that you're currently looking at. Same is true with the calendar. If you click on the calendar square, a preview of your calendar will open up, showing you all meetings that you have for the day. But you can also jump ahead or back into the past, select any date from the calendar you want and look at what events are scheduled. Uh, I did record a separate video on this capability. So if you found this video, you're already in the right YouTube channel, HCL Digital Solutions, where you will find another video talking about Connections Mail. You'll also find another video right there talking about the transfer of file ownership. In fact, you'll find two videos. Uh, the first video I recorded was about transferring the file ownership on a single file. So you select one file and then you can say, this file I should no longer be the owner of because I left the project. There is a new person running the project, so this person should be the new owner. And we added that in 6.5 so you can easily do that as an end user. What we added now is the capability to select multiple files, which you see in the background there on the screenshot, where you can select multiple files with a checkbox and then transfer uh, those files to a new owner. One more thing, let's talk about the mobile updates. Uh, so concurrently with CR1, we're also updating the mobile app, uh, which coincidentally falls within, I think the same day or, or near enough. And there are a number of enhancements in the mobile app as usual. Um, we now have the capability to have a personal trash. So if you delete files, they will not disappear immediately. They will be collected in the trash bin. And of course, from there, you can either permanently delete it or restore them as you see over there in the screenshot on the right.
The support for transfer of file ownership, we added to the mobile app as well. So what I just talked about on the previous slide is also available on mobile. And then we also added a community icon shown in a forum list if you're in a community forum to make it more recognizable where you are. Okay, so those are the new features with CR1. I also want to take this opportunity to point you to an article that we updated on the support website for HCL Connections. Not all of you might be on the latest release of Connections, so here's an article explaining the roadmap on how to get from any previous version of Connections to the latest 6.5, including 6.5 CR1. So if you search for this article, you'll find detailed steps on how to get there. All right, this wraps up the CR1 what's new video i hope you found this useful here are some additional pointers you already found the youtube channel since you're watching this video but uh, i want to remind you that we also have a design partner program we have the idea lab out where you can post ideas or vote on other people's ideas and we have the lab advocacy problem in the connections consortium if you have any questions related on those to those topics feel free uh, to reach out to your hcl contact and we're happy to give you more detail with that thank you very much i hope this was useful and i'll see you next time bye bye